Welcome back to day three, I guess at the asylum you could say. So now we've got a, t we've got a tomato soup. Now the reason why I decided to record this was because I figured the last time I did a tomato soup it went so bad, it was horrific. So I figured we'd give it a go again and see what we can do this time. With the knowledge that we now know, we'll see if we can make it a little bit better than we did before. Now when I made Everyone in my house took the mick out of me when they saw my tomato soup making skills. Um, I would say to them is that there's no scale, so as far as I can tell, if anyone knows of a scale, please let me know. But how the hell, I still don't really know how you're supposed to know. Also, the weird thing about this game, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but you can only pick up one thing at a time. So you literally have to go in and drop each individual ingredient. Now I know that it does kind of, I've, I've kind of got a little bit more knowledge now, and I get the fact that you can... It, when you drop it into the pot, it does tell you the uh, the weight. I guess that's the scale. You could argue. I mean, it's a weird. I would have wanted something a bit more, you know, a bit more intuitive as a form of scale. But the family, that's the scale. So we'll see. Now I'm going to use. I haven't watched any videos how to make this. I'm just using purely logic to try and improve my uh, ability to make it. Because that, that definitely was bad last time. There's no getting away from that. I mean, in fact, there must be another way of picking up more than one at once. Because that's horrific. You have to keep going back. If you had something to put it in, it would certainly be more logical. I don't know if I'm using the right thing here. I would have, Part of me thinks that maybe I needed a different uh, thing. But that is odd that you can only pick up one. You'd think there'd be like a, a bag that you could carry or something. But I'm literally having to go back loads of times just to, oh I guess you could bring the pot to here I guess that's an option but you wouldn't do that in the kitchen though would you? you would you just would bring more than one at once it seems very odd to me that you would go back constantly to your larder or your store you know your pantry if you're posh and get multiple times it seems a lot of energy look at the steps that this guy is going to get in the course of a day just walking to and from his, his larder to get his uh tomatoes is insane i mean you know hope he's wearing his fitbit right so i think we've got enough now which is in it's like i say is a miracle now i'm gonna make an assumption here that this we maybe can blend this maybe we can blend this yes we can that was how you're supposed to do it so automatically we are uh, kicking ass on this front uh which i mean that makes sense don't get me wrong i realized my previous attempt at making this was very naive i think the thing to remember about this game is as you sort of progress um, it does make more sense, you know, it, it is, it is, uh, see, I definitely put too much salt on that salmon in the previous episode. The previous episode, I did like a salmon dish and for, I, I upped the, you can up the percentage of pouring and I upped it quite substantially. And I think I poured like a, like gave the guy 30 grams of salt on his salmon. So he's probably, arteries are probably clogged up and he's probably not had a bit of a bad, bad time of it. I hope he didn't get cramp overnight because he certainly would do with my uh, giving him too much salt if he was even able to eat it. So we've got to up that to 10 and I think we need that and then if we do a 1 and a 2. Oh god did I just give myself? Oh well, there's too much pepper in there now. That screwed that up. Oh, I shouldn't play around with that. That guy's got now now it's going to be very a peppery dish. I mean that's okay. I mean tomato soup with a bit of pepper is not the end of the world. So if we, I might just stick this to one though, because that, that didn't go well. I was trying to be too clever. I was trying to, trying to up the clever ratio and it didn't work in my favor. Now I need an onion. I need 120 grams of that. Now I think, now I know there's a chopper machine. I'm going to use that. Let's try and be smart about this. Uh, where are the onions? If I can be smart about it. Is that, have I actually got any onions? Oh, the onions are here. Uh, apparently it automatically peels. I didn't notice that the first time. That's quite cool. So if we put our onion on here. I so, know oh we put our onion in there and it chops it with this little button, which is incredibly useful. And it comes out here. Perfecto. And I dropped a little bit on the floor. Oh, God, I've just walked into it. Did I lose any more? No. So like I say, in my logic would dictate that you wouldn't have to do this. This is bizarre that this is the, the interpretation of the way that ha it decides to pour because it makes no sense. That that is your their idea of pouring. Like you're just waiting for it to fall. Gravity is your key here. Nobody pours like that. They just don't. Nobody pours would pour like that. Why is it why is it so bizarre? It's just odd. Like that that is an odd um like this bit is not going in. Oh dearie me. That there are like I say there 
as good as this game is, there are weird anomalies, and that certainly is one. Is that, that why would you? Nobody is pouring an onion like that into a container. You're just not doing that, are you? That's just odd. I wonder if I could get that. If I can get that one little bit in there, I wonder if that's going to be enough. Oh, just, if I drop those two bits, it's certainly. Oh god, I think I've just thrown my spatula away. Oh god, I've literally just binned my spatula. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't need that again in this episode. Hopefully, you get another one because I've literally just binned, binned the spatula. That is not good. Oh dear. Hopefully you get another one. And it, I don't think you will. I reckon this game is... The weird thing about this game is I bet you don't get another spatula. I bet that's the only one you get. It looks like it. I've just binned the only spatula. The only way to actually uh, pick a load of stuff up. I've just binned it. See, I, I, that is bizarre. Is there any way of getting in there? You're telling me that I've actually binned my spatula and there's no other way of getting a spatula. That is bizarre. Absolutely odd. I say that that the game doesn't help itself. I mean, it's hilarious that that's a thing. Uh, what did we need? We needed one minute twenty, didn't we? I think. Yeah. I mean, that's that is bizarre. That that is that is what they've. Um, I just put one minute twenty. What are you doing? Set. Put down. Throw. Throw. Yeah. Okay. I I think I put that on and then add sour cream now. Okay. So I didn't do that last time. I I didn't blend anything last time. I just. So I just put it, I can't believe I just thrown a spatula away and there's no more spatula. I say this game is weird. I, I can't imagine that they probably wouldn't give you another spatula. I, I could, you could just bin it. it. Makes no sense. But it even allows you to do that. Bin the spatula. I can't believe I, I am in, I'm, I'm sorry if I come across as annoying when I'm talking about that, but that's, that's just odd. That it lets you do that and doesn't like question that why why would you want to bin your spatula? And it doesn't think to say, oh yeah, you're actually going to bin something important here. One of the ing only tools that they give you. They have all this kitchen space and nothing in any of these. Oh god, look, I'm pouring the cupboard bloody doors off. The cupboard has had doors a second ago and now they don't. How does that even work? And I've taken another door off. It's like DIY at its best here. I'm going to have no cupboard doors left. I mean, it's some weird mechanics every now and again here. And how do, do I, is there another way of taking it? So it's not even a programmed way of doing that. So how that actually works is beyond me. Right, I've just thrown my time on the floor in disgust. Right, apparently I blend this again. Apparently so. So blend, blend. Oh, sure, I don't need that to be turned on anymore. That's one thing that I don't need. Now I need to pour sour cream. Now how much sour cream? Uh, 150. So this should be better than last time. It's taken a long while to to make, but I would assume that this would be better than last time. And let's see, there's no obvious way of... There's no obvious way of tipping it. Right, okay, we need 120. Okay, so this bit's pretty cool. This bit's nice and easy to work out. Ooh, 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 nearly. Okay, do, how do we... Put that back. Reset just put no, I don't want to reset to that position. I mean I wouldn't want sour cream in my uh tomato soup personally, but each to their own. Pour liquid into a deep pat plate, okay? And pour serve hot. Okay, let's try to smash. Uh deep plate. We've got no deep plates apparently. Ah, deep plate. I bet it's gonna smash. No. Nope. Apparently it's perfectly fine if you leave the uh freezer the fridge, sorry, just open all day. Nobody seems to care that you, that's a thing. Okay, so I guess we just poured this all. It's certainly better than the last one. I mean, the mechanic on this is just weird as well. But, oh god, that looks horrific. That does look horrific. I would not eat that if someone offered me that. It's certainly supposed to be redder than that as well. But certainly better than before. I mean, if anyone saw... Please watch the first episode. If anyone saw the tomato soup in the first episode and compared it with this, at least this one is kind of red. It's on the way to red. It's not very appetising... Uh, Colour, but a baked trout. We're a bit of expert at baked trout. Although we've got no way of, we've got no spatula, so I don't know how we're going to get the baked trout actually out of uh, out of the container once it's cooked. Which is going to be an interesting thing. We're going to make. I think I'm going to do this purely to see how we get the baked tray at, trout out. I wouldn't ordinarily rec uh, record myself doing stuff, and I've already done in the past a couple of times. But I think the challenge here is going to be how does we one get the baked trout off the bacon tray without any um, without any apparatus to do it. So I think it's worth me recording that just purely for the comedy value of me trying to get the baked trout off with absolutely nothing, right? 
Uh, let's go over here. Now, I know that we're pouring too much at the second, so I need to change that to that because that's just going to go badly otherwise. And I think it doesn't look like you have to season it, but I think you actually have to season it on top of it. Oh, God, I put so much anyway. Oh, well, it's going to be a peppery trout. Kind of sounds like it could be a, uh, a band there, the peppery trout. All right, where's the thinking deals that I need? No time. Where did that go? Is that it? Bizarre. I don't know how it ended over there, but it did. How much do I need of that? I don't want to get everyone wrong. Five grams. Okay. I think I've learned on a lot of not to try and change, to be too ambitious to change. Because if you try and move the stuff around, that's just going to go terribly wrong, terribly quickly. Right, the dill is over here, I believe. One of these is dill. Horseradish and dill. Okay, and five grams of that as well. Five grams of the dill. Okay, let's just... Oh dear, that was a bit of a mistake there. Let's just pour that. Right, now season. We need to bake for 90 seconds. And like I said, I've got no idea how we're getting that off the plate. I guess I'm going to have to tip the plate. Because we haven't got a spatula anymore. The spatula has left the building, everybody. For some reason, you can throw your spatula in the bin. Which, I mean, sounds bizarre to me. You would not have thought that that was possible. Right, now we need to cut a lemon into quarters. Can we cut that one into quarters? We might be able to get away with that, you know. Yeah, I would like to say I wouldn't ordinarily record the same thing again because I realise there's an element of boredom when you try and do that. But in this case, I know we've already done a fish in this episode. Uh, because I've got the interest in the notion of trying to somehow... Oh, God, it's not cutting. Cut into four. Cut into four. You must cut into four. Thank you. You might. You, can you not cut into one more for me? Just, Just be nice. Is it not possible for you to cut into another shape? Can you not do that? I'm sure you can. What do you mean you can't cut into it? It must be able to cut into another. Okay, this guy's getting free. I mean, it's the least of his worries, to be fair. Okay, that, that must be over. nearly done now. Another sip of my Bovril. Oh, apparently Bovril's pretty rough at the end. Right, so I've got no idea how we're going to get this off the plate when we get it out. That's going to be the great surprise in all of this. So we're going to get a large plate, because other than the plates that were smashed, the large plate does seem to be the most successful in terms of plating up, which is a useful thing on this. So, in two, one, zero, let's take this bad boy out. Now, it seems I've got the hang of cooking these, but like I said, I've got no idea how we're going to get this onto the plate. Am I literally going to have to tip this? I think we're going to have to try and slide this off the plate. Look at the mechanics there. Do you know, oddly enough, this actually worked near enough better I, mean, I don't know how we're going to... Now, that's basically its end position because we've got no way... Unless I manage to somehow swipe it, I've got no way of picking it up. So that will just have to live there, unfortunately. I mean, maybe it's... Maybe if we, you know, each their own. Put that in there. Put that, I don't know, on there somewhere. Why not, eh? Hey? He's got free, only free, and he's not getting what he expected. Presentation is not a strong point. Right, as long as I don't... Oh, did I just throw some of the tomatoes on oh, I just threw one of the blinkers. If I put this on here... If that fish was to fall on the floor, that would be the end of that. Oh, apparently you can't do that. Okay, let's put it on there and let's pick up our... We're not worried about hygiene. We didn't pass any hygiene rules. We're all about just making. The fact that these fell on the floor, let's not worry about that. It's just a minor technicality. You'll never know. It's been down there definitely longer than the five-second rule. You can even give him a bit of tomato if he wants on the side. Okay, hurry up. So we're actually doing all right here, dear. Okay, that, I mean, you probably will like it. It's just now going forward, how do we actually flip anything? Yes, so I've got, I'm, I'm basically the king of the fish. I'm all right at cooking fish. I can definitely seem to do that quite well. Everything else, absolutely no chance. Fish, got that nailed on. Yeah, let's see. Oh, new order, we've got the new thing. So we, I, I, we weren't gonna do any more recording, but we've got our new dish. Ukrainian Bostech. I've probably just butchered that beyond belief, but that is what we're cooking today. So I will do this because it's a new dish and why not, hey? I wasn't going to do any more for the obvious reason that um, we've done enough, I thought. But because this is a new dish that we haven't done before, I think it'll be fun to, to see. Now, let's just tip this in here. Do we just put that in there? Water that mixture up. How about, can you make it overflow? Guess we're gonna find out. Apparently you can. Cool. 
Right, now we just need to somehow manage to work out how to pour. I just want to pour it. Can I pour it? No, apparently I can't. Oh, how'd you pour? I just want it. There you go. Some of the mechanics are, they are here, to be fair. The mechanics aren't as hard as I'm making it look. It's just, um, it's just not very clear. But like I've said all along is that I haven't done this tutorial, which would have been the smart option. So though I am, uh, like, subtly taking the mick out of this game, there's no chicken broth. Makes me wonder, there must be a way of buying stuff on this because we have no chicken broth at all. But where? Where do you buy stuff? It doesn't specify that, as far as I can tell. Can we go out of here? Where are you supposed to buy stuff? Is this the, the book to buy? How do you buy things? So we've got no option to... We've got no chicken broth at all. Unless it, no, that's not chicken broth, is it? Sour cream. But I don't know how you're supposed to buy stuff. There's no, as far as I can see, there's nothing that actually said. Um, do we have to go in here and buy stuff? Where? I don't want to have to search up, but in some ways I'm going to have to search up. Because it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have to do a quick... Maybe I need the phone. Do I need the phone? Advanced. Right, I'm going to have to do a quick Google search of how to buy stuff. Which is incredibly frustrating, but it's just not clear. Right, let's Google this. How to buy ingredients ingredients on cooking. It's going to be something really obvious, no doubt. That is definitely for certain. Cooking simulator. Okay, here we go. So, how to buy in K. Okay. Shopping is carried out in real time. That makes sense, but how do we do it? Okay, as case your service works, oh I've got to agree to terms and conditions. In the game place, shopping is carried out in real time. Though not for the internet or still nearby, but taking goods off the shelf. No, I need to know where that doesn't work for me because I've run out of chicken broth and you're not telling me how to get hold of it. Okay, buy a refrigerator, ordering ingredients. This is more like it. Okay, so here, if so on, it looks like you buy ingredients and go forth. You'll just buy now because by the system's effective, simple and works. No, I did not cook for myself. So the question is, do you think it could... That's not... I can't see any... I can't see any chicken broth, though, so that, that doesn't make sense. Is it? Where's the chicken broth? There is no chicken broth. You're telling me that you buy ingredients, that it, you, you buy it, see it, but I can't see any chicken broth in there at all. Unless I'm missing something. Chicken broth last time was just in there. So you can't just... It can't just be that simple. There must be a way of buying it. Where are we getting tutorials? Game first look. How to shop. Enter shop mode and cooking simulator. That's what we need. Okay. I'm playing a few tutorial and complete all the tasks up to buying spices. You need to go to this area. Click on the box. Okay. That's we're gonna get there. This is basically gonna be a tutorial video in itself. So you go to the box apparently. That that's incredibly not vague at all. How would anyone assume? That you go to the box, open carton, make the goal is stuff or stuff we had no idea about. Okay, that makes perfect sense. When you know this, you're living the dream. God, how, how we how we buy? How do we? Did no idea that that was how you did it. But that that makes perfect sense. Okay, so we learn something every day. I'm sorry it took a while for me to work that out, but it was not clear. I like I said, I know there's tutorials. I, you know, I can't pretend. I'm trying to do this without any tutorials, so to an extent, uh, I am um, trying to learn as, as we go along. And the whole idea behind that was just simply, I figured, you know, people would appreciate the kind of learning curve of playing the game. That will there'll be a bit of dead content there where I might have to skip. You might not see that because I might edit that out of the video. So if you are seeing that, then uh, I chose not to. But probably I will probably just edit that chunk out. Um, just because who wants to stand there for a period of time not knowing how to do anything? You can't see me, Google search. Perhaps I should have done that on the computer. That would have been a fun thing. But with the power of YouTube, you probably won't have to see it. Or if you do see it, unfortunately for you. Right, so we are going to put our pepper in beetroot. Now, now I know this. This makes this game seem much more logical. Because I know that now that I just go over here and buy a beetroot. I don't know if you can buy more of a beetroot. This would be interesting to see if you can buy. I need a couple, please. I don't. I want more than one though. 
oh god you're not telling me i have to pick up each beetroot individually and buy it like that that makes this game is just bizarre when it does that why would you do that why would it not be more logical than that i don't understand why they decided to make that so odd that you have to literally buy individual beetroots in order to get that to work it doesn't make any sense to me right i assume you've got to cut it like that i mean i hate oh god it's threw all my beetroot on the floor oh, mechanics as good as this game is it's incredibly frustrating at the same time like how why are you not throwing down like you're not tipping out why makes no sense it's gonna be the most fr I, I would hurry up if this stupid game would let me tilt right we've got oh oh right we've got that in there how much is that it's 21 grams we need like 600 grams i'm gonna pick these individual bits up i think and just put them in uh, this is bizarre i can't believe i'm picking off off the floor and putting my beetroot in an in individual pieces just because if we don't do that we're going to be doing this forever in fact this is so odd but nevertheless um that is the chosen method here basically picking up like we're a dog and putting each individual piece in now i wondered actually if i could put hard beat roots in i think i'm going to try the next one and just see if i can blend it because it doesn't see why it would necessarily need to be cut um i, I kind of come to that conclusion at, afterwards but i don't know why necessarily I, we could probably get beet roots from over here actually i don't know why i pulled it from in there can we not get beet can we Beat yeah, we can. Yeah, that was that was, really didn't need to be the thing. I made that incredibly comp. Well, I'm not surprised as over time that guy's gonna have to just wait. I'm afraid, because we're cancelled the order. Ah, oh. I think we're just gonna make it anyway. We might not need to set it now, but we're we're already halfway through this now, so we're gonna we're just gonna make our beetroot because I am in the process. I am in it for the beetroot dish. So I'm just going to make it anyway. Maybe we'll just keep it on board. And if someone orders it tomorrow, they can get our incredibly uh, cold beetroot. Who says it has to be fresh beetroot? It could be old, old beetroot. You know, that sounds like the more logical approach. So we're going to go for that. We're going to have a, a very soggy slash bad beetroot. Now I'm going to assume that you can just blend that. Yes, you can. Like a pro. See, I'm learning. If nothing else, I mean, I'd never have put a beetroot in a hot pan before, but apparently that's a thing. And I'm guessing we can just do that with the onion as well. Can we do that with the onion? Do we? Where are there any onions? Onions are over here. I always get that mistake. I don't know if we can. We might want just want to. I'm just going to put it in. Why the hell not? Can we blend an onion? Will it blend? I'm sure it will. It will definitely blend. Yes, it's blended. I don't know if you need to blend it. That's, that's one. Oh, God, I've turned the whole one again. The one thing I will say about this game is the method is just not explained at all. There is no method. Carrots. Have we got any carrots knocking about? One would assume there'd be some carrots. Are these carrots? Yeah. Are we just have an A carrot. I think it literally probably is just, it is literally just an A carrot that is needed in this dish. Like I say, we don't actually need this now. Oh, God, why did the carrot not go in the dish? Oh, but we can blend it, surely. Can we blend the carrot? Blend the carrot while it's on top. Oh my god, it literally did that. You could blend it while it's on the top of the thing. Now that definitely isn't normal. You wouldn't do that. That would cause a heck of a mess if you tried to do that. Right, now we just need the roots. And I'm guessing that's probably going to do the same thing. It's just going to hang on the top there. I would imagine. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and we get our little blender. And we're going to blend it again. And it works. Bizarre as it is, that method actually worked. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably not going to make this anymore because obviously we've ran out of time and we don't need to worry about that. But it'll be ready for us when we need it in the future, which is nice. So I think I'm going to leave this video here. This is our incredibly messy kitchen, as you can see. Hopefully you've enjoyed the process. I mean, there's been times when we've had our spatula disappear, put it in the bin. Uh, we tried, we blended some stuff. We overcooked, killed a piece of salmon. You know, there's been times where this has been a fun experiment and there's been times it's been incredibly stressful. But this game is Cooking Simulator. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.